What's going on guys? I am Luxury Castillo and we are going to talk about how to travel from LA, Los Angeles to Philippines, also Las Vegas, Nevada to the Philippines and finally Arizona. So let's start off with LAX. If you live in Southern California or Central California, somewhere in Los Angeles, Alhambra, Montebello, Baldwin Park, West Covina, Chino Hills, Diamond Bar, that area, you could take an, an international flight from LAX and get a direct flight to Philippines. And a direct flight is only going to take you about 14 hours uh, from LAX to Manila. And then coming back, it's going to be 12 hours. And the flight coming out of um, LAX, um, the economy ones, if you book the flight, let's say uh, almost a year, say 10 months, 11 months ahead of time, that's probably going to cost you around $800, $900, except for summer and December. So summer, like when people out of school, when they're out of school, like around June or around December, that's going to cost you more. That's probably going to cost you close to $2,000. Um, and if you book those tickets, uh, early like maybe close to a year you might get them less than 2000 but it's gonna play around between 1500 to two thousand dollars or even more so um, to fly out of LAX is fairly easy uh, you can get the cheapest fl flight now uh, I use Philippine Airline and I'm not getting paid by Philippine Airlines by bringing them up or bringing them up on this video. I use them because it's a direct flight. Um, I used to get those flight that will go uh, to China or to Korea or Japan, and then I would do a stopover, and then I'll I'll stay there for like two three hours or maybe five hours layovers. And then I fly and they get on another plane and fly to the Philippines. And then coming back, I'll do the same thing. Fly to Korea, China, or Japan, or Taipei, uh, Taiwan. And then lay over for two, three hours, maybe five, and then fly to LAX. Um, I was saving about maybe three hundred dollars by doing that three to four hundred dollars well i didn't want to spend that much time anymore uh, i don't want to do any more layovers so i'm willing to spend um, four hundred dollars more for the flight uh, round trip so I, I use philippine airline a lot of people talk about how bad philippine airline is um, late or or that the plane is old. But I don't really care for that because I'm there to sit and enjoy the flight. Actually, I sit there and I, I go to sleep. And then by the time I wake up, uh, we're already landing. And I just do that and I don't really care about the service. I just want to get to the Philippines, okay? So that's the easiest way to go get to, to, go to the Philippines. You have the Philippine Airlines direct flight, or there's other uh, airlines which is about three, four hundred dollars cheaper, but you got some layovers. Now, let's say you retired and you moved to Las Vegas. Now you're uh, and you're a frequent flyer. You go to the Philippines a lot. Um, now you have Harris. International Airport you take a flight there but it's only gonna take you to LAX or San Francisco they don't have a direct flight from Las Vegas uh, International Airport straight to the Philippines there is no direct flight 
you got no choice but to get a flight, domestic flight, from uh, Las Vegas, uh, Harris International Airport. Um, you could go to land in LAX or uh, San Francisco. And there's gonna be a layover because you're gonna have to wait for an international flight to get out of the States. So the layover, my experience was around three hours to five hours going to the Philippines. And then from there, I get a direct flight, uh, Philippine airline, and then San Francisco gets American airline direct flight to the Philippines now. So you get a direct flight and then you land in the Philippines. Imagine if you're not taking a direct flight from LAX or San Francisco. So that means you're gonna fly from Las Vegas International Airport, Harris, fly to uh, LAX, wait three, four hours, and then take another flight. Then you're gonna go to Korea, for example, Korea, Taipei, or Japan, or Hong Kong, or uh, China. And then wait another two, three hours, or maybe four hours. Uh, and then from there you fly to the Philippines, take another flight to go to the Philippines. So that, that's gonna take you longer, but you will save about three, four hundred dollars. Or the same situation, but maybe not LAX, fly from uh, Harris International, Las Vegas, to San Francisco, and then delayed flight again. So you're gonna, not delayed flight, but layover. Wait there three, four hours, and then take another flight, and then straight to Korea, or Taipei, or uh, China, or Japan and then wait two, three hours, and then get on another flight, and then go to the Philippines. So all of those layovers, if, you don't, if you're not a frequent flyer, it may not bother you. It, it will not bother you, it shouldn't bother you. If you fly to go to the Philippines, maybe once every 10 years, then maybe this will be fun for you. But if you fly constantly, like me, myself, I fly, you know, four or five times a year. Now that I'm retired, um, I'll be flying maybe three, four times a year, but I'll be staying there longer. Um, so I still want a direct flight. I don't want to deal with the, um, the layovers. So there you go, guys. So, uh, if you're coming from LA, oh, excuse me, from Las Vegas, Harris International Airport, um, you don't have a direct flight. Now, from if you're flying out of uh, Harris International Airport or Las Vegas, it's gonna cost you another five hundred dollars, or or I've seen one seven hundred dollars more. So five to seven hundred dollars more than if you just flew out of LAX. So that's an extra pay, extra pay, extra cost, and then extra layovers then that's for the direct flight um, so there you go so if you live in Las Vegas you got no choice but to fly well you don't have a choice now you know you do have a choice so you can either fly if you live in Las Vegas you, you, you want to fly out of there you live near there somebody can drop you off uh, to the airport and then you fly out of there. And just be prepared to pay a little bit more than if you were flying out of LAX. Now, if you have relatives or friends in California near LAX, you can drive yourself over there. Uh, the, the drive is about five hours, five and a half. Park your car there, take an Uber, about 20 bucks, take you to the airport. Now, the expense and the layover stuff will be decreased to a minimal. So you can save more money going that way uh, than flying out of LAX. But if you don't want to do that drive, fly out of LAX and then just deal with the layovers and the extra $700, five to $700. So 
if we're uh, if you live in Arizona okay if you fly out of Phoenix it'll be the same situation if you have flights if there is flights coming from Phoenix if you have flights come from Phoenix which is very seldom and very few you fly out of uh, Phoenix Airport to LAX or San Francisco and do the same thing as if you're living in Las Vegas now if you don't live in Phoenix and you live somewhere in um, Bold, uh, how do we say uh, other than Phoenix let's say you're in between Las Vegas International Airport Harris International Airport and Phoenix and you want to fly out to fly out from uh, Las Vegas then it'll take you to two, uh, take a two-hour drive to go to uh, Harris International Airport and do the same thing just like I mentioned so if you live in Arizona and you're not near an airport you're not near uh, Las Vegas Airport or ne not near uh, Phoenix Airport you're pretty much in a conundrum because there's no other airports in Arizona. So you're gonna have to figure out how to get an Uber to go LAX and, or an Uber to Phoenix and they're like two hours drive. Or you can drive yourself again uh, to LAX and fly out of there. My personal preference because I save money this way uh, and also save time because there's no delay there's no um, what's that word I'm looking for layovers I'm in between Las Vegas and Phoenix Airport I drive it takes me five hours to get to LAX I park my car at my friend's house I take an Uber Uber to the airport, LAX, 20 bucks, and then I save around $500 for my round trip ticket. My drive, I know it's five hours one way, it's, just, uh, it's better than a layover. Also, the gas is not that expensive compared to $500. So, that's my preference. So these, in summary, if you live in California near LA and you fly out of LA, it's a much easier time to get out of there to fly to Philippines and it's cheaper too. Better than if you move to uh, Las Vegas or Phoenix because two, those two towns or two cities, they don't have a direct flight uh, from Las Vegas International Airport or Phoenix to st straight direct flight to to Philippines so that's a problem right there no direct flight so that's that's pretty much it so if you're not a frequent flyer it will be okay I think you'll survive but if you're a frequent flyer I need you to think about if if it's if it's part of your life to travel to the Philippines many times it's either you suck it up pay the extra fee five to seven hundred dollars more and also just go through the layovers that's pretty much it um, well, that's the cons, or yeah, the cons of moving out of LAX. But other than that, um, it is what it is, guys. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a comment and, um, so I can answer some questions that uh, you may have. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching the video.